everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to make these adorable little baby shoes. I have made these shoes in size 0 to 3 months, but you can find the written pattern on my website adorkrea.com in sizes from 0 to 18 months. So let's just get started. To make the shoes I will need some yarn and I am using this beautiful Drops Cotton Merino in color 15. I will also need a crochet hook, 3.5 millimeters. I will need some scissors, a darning needle, and two buttons for each of my two shoes. I will start by making a slip knot and 10 chains. And for round one, I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and here into the second chain, I'm going to make two half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the three loops on the hook. And I will do that one more time into the same chain. And I will make a half double crochet into the next seven chains. Into my very last chain, I'm going to make six half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And to continue round one, I will work into the opposite side of my chains. And here I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next seven chains. And here into my very last chain, which is also the first one that I started with, I'm going to make two half double crochet. And to finish round one, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the very first stitch, which is the one that you can see right here. So I'm going to insert the hook, pull a loop through the two loops on the hook. To start row 2, I'm going to make a chain. At the beginning of round 2, I will make a half double crochet increase into the first two stitches. So I will make two half double crochet into the first and the second stitch. Again, I will make a half double crochet into the next seven stitches. I will now make a half double crochet increase into the next six stitches. So I will make two half double crochet into the next six stitches. And I will again make one half double crochet into the next seven stitches. And here at the end of the row, I will make a half double crochet increase into the last two stitches. And I will end this round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. To start row 3, I'm going to make a chain. 
and here into my first stitch I'm going to make a half double crochet increase. And into the next stitch I will make a half double crochet. Into the next stitch I will again make an increase and into the next a half double crochet. I will now make a half double crochet into the next 7 stitches. In the next stitch I will make a half double crochet increase. And into the next stitch I will make a half double crochet. And I will repeat that in a total of 6 times. So that I have 6 half double crochet increases and a half double crochet in between. Again I will make a half double crochet into the next 7 stitches. And into the next stitch I will make a half double crochet increase. And into the next stitch I will make a half double crochet. And I will repeat that one more time. And I will finish this row with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I am now finished with the sole of my little shoe and I should have 44 stitches all the way around. I am now ready to work on the main part of my shoe and I'm going to start by making a chain. In row 4 we are going to make half double crochet stitches all the way around but we are only going to work into the back loops of our stitches. So I'm going to insert my hook and make my half double crochet. And I will do that all the way around round 4. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will make a chain to start row 5. And for row 5 I'm going to make a half double crochet into the first 16 stitches. And next I'm going to make a half double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Then I will yarn over one last time and pull through all the four loops on the hook. And into the next stitch I will make a half double crochet. I will repeat this process in a total of 6 times so that I have 6 half double crochet decreases and 1 half double crochet in between. And at last I will make a half double crochet into the last 10 stitches.
and I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And to start round 6, I'm going to make a chain and I'm going to make a half double crochet into the next 15 stitches. I will now make a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. I will then yarn over and insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. And I will repeat that in a total of six times so that I have a total of six double crochet decreases. One, two, three, four, five, six decreases. I will now make a half double crochet into the last eleven stitches. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will make a chain to start the seventh and the last round. And for round seven, I'm going to make a single crochet in every stitch around. And I will finish off with a slip stitch and fasten off my yarn. I'm now going to make a little strap for my shoe. So I'm going to find the middle of my shoe here and insert my yarn into the middle stitch of the shoe. And I will be making 12 chains here from the edge of my shoe. I will skip the first two chains and here into the third chain from the hook I'm going to make a double crochet. And I will be making my double crochet into the back bumps of my chains. And I'm going to make a double crochet in every chain. I now have 10 double crochet in my strap and I'm now going to attach my strap to my shoe by skipping one stitch and making a slip stitch into the next stitch that you can see right here. And at last I'm going to fasten off and sew in my ends. And the only thing left now is to sew in my button on the opposite side of my strap so that I can close my little shoe. So I will place my button right here and sew it into my shoe. And I can now close my shoe by using the spaces between my double crochet 
as my buttonholes. And I can now make my shoe number two in exactly the same way. I just have to make my strap on the opposite side so that I have a right and a left shoe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you would like to see a lot more of these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for a lot more videos like this. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <music>